Sean van der Sloot, the prime suspect in the disappearance of Natalie Holloway, will be sentenced tomorrow, but in a different case. He's pleaded guilty to murdering a young woman in Peru. NBC's Lilia Luciano is in Lima, Peru, with the details on this. Lilia, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Jorn van der Sloot has been behind bars here in Lima for 19 months. This morning, he awaits sentence after pleading guilty to murder. A guilty plea, and then an apology. Sí, Seeming calm and confident, Joran Vandersloot told the judge he was responsible for the murder of 21-year-old Stephanie Flores. De verdad, soy ar ar I regret what I did, Vandersloot said in broken Spanish, adding he felt very bad about it. Me siento muy malo. Outside, a cluster of protesters shouted killer and demanded justice. A hotel worker found Flores dead in Vandersloot's room 19 months ago. Police say she was murdered exactly five years to the day that Natalie Holloway went missing in Aruba. Vandersloot has always denied any wrongdoing in the Holloway case, and authorities in Aruba never found enough evidence to charge him. But in Peru, there was no lack of evidence, legal experts say. In this taped confession to Peruvian police, Vandersloot describes beating and strangling Flores to death. The most overwhelming piece of evidence is his own testimony, that it was not uh, a random act, like he had initially said, and that it was basically premeditated. The evidence also included surveillance video. Vandersloot and Flores seen gambling together, then walking into his room. Hours later, he walks out by himself, prosecutors say leaving Stephanie's lifeless body inside. Prosecutors seek a 30-year sentence for the 24-year-old Dutch citizen. Going by your experience, how long do you think he'll serve? If he were to be sentenced to 30 years, he'll probably end up serving seven to nine years, given the overcrowded conditions in Peru. Appealing for a lighter sentence, van der Sloot's lawyer told the judge his client was suffering from post-traumatic stress when he killed Stephanie, stemming from the constant questioning on the Holloway case. Natalie's parents say they hope this guilty plea will move their quest for justice forward. The Holloways continue to cooperate uh, with all the law enforcement agencies and remain hopeful that someday someone will be held accountable and brought to justice here in Alabama. Today, an Alabama judge is scheduled to decide whether to declare Natalie Holloway dead. Here in Peru, Vandersloot will be sentenced for the murder of Stephanie Flores tomorrow morning.